So you're going to be taking some notes on IP39. You're going to set up your notes on IP39 like a uh, Avid style or Cornell style notes. And so this is basically how you're going to set it up. Here's a picture of my science notebook so that you have an idea of what goes, what the page is going to look like. On my screen, uh, everything looks a little bit shorter just because of where it is, but actually um, this is going to be the majority of your page. So on IP39, title it Experimental Variables, and at the top of the page write Essential Question. This is the essential question for today. When conducting a scientific experiment, what is the difference between an independent, dependent, and a controlled variable? So then when you set this up, you're going to make a line at the top, a line down the left of your page, uh, title this notes, questions, and then leave the bottom space uh, maybe about three to four lines for, so that you can answer the essential question when you're finished with the notes. Today's notes are all about what makes an experiment fair. Here's the first section of your notes. In the first section of your notes on the notes side of your page, um, you need to know the difference between a dependent, I'm sorry, independent, dependent, and controlled variable. An independent variable is the one and only factor that is changed in an experiment. A dependent variable is the factor which is measured. That's what you look at to see what gets changed in your experiment. It's the thing that responds to the changes of your independent variable. And then last you have the controlled variable. All the factors that stay the same in an experiment. After you've written these notes down, please highlight these keywords and then write a question on the question side of your notes about independent, dependent, or controlled variables. Now that was a lot of information. Let's actually put it into practice and give you some practical examples and hopefully you'll understand it a little bit better. Here's section two in your notebook. Let's put this into practice and give you an example. Let's say that we wanted to find out what type of bird feeders um, a bird liked the best. Uh, if they prefer red bird feeders, blue bird feeders, or green bird feeders. In this case then, the independent variable is the color of the feeders. That's the thing, the one factor that gets changed. It's whether the bird feeder is red, blue, or green. The dependent variable, the thing that you measure, or the thing that gets changed as a result, is the amount of seed that gets eaten by the birds. So for example, I'm going to put the same amount of seed in each one of these bird feeders, and then after a week, I would check to see how much bird feed is left in each one of them. That would be my dependent variable, the thing that I'm measuring to see which one the birds preferred. Then my controlled variables, the thing that all stays the same, would be where I put the bird feeders, the kind of feed that's used, and putting, making sure that the bird feeds get put out all at the same time every single day. I wouldn't want to use different types of feed because then I don't know, is it the type of feed they like better, or is it the color of the feeders, and that's what I'm actually trying to test. So this type of experiment is uh, then put into just a chart. This is just an example so you can see. Again, the controlled variables are where you put the feeders, the kind of seed, and the type of feeder that you use. The independent variable is the part that you change in your experiment, red, blue, or green. And then the dependent variable is the thing that you measure or the thing that you're checking to see if it changed, which would be the amount of seed eaten in each bird feeder. This experiment would not be fair. If Sam, the person who's doing the experiment, put the red bird feeder in this tree, the blue bird feeder on top of a doghouse, and then this bird feeder in this type of tree, how do we know that they didn't just go to this bird feed because they were afraid of the dog? How do we know that they actually saw the green bird feed uh, bird feeder because it was in a green tree? And so in order to make this a fair experiment, I would need to put the bird feeders all in the same place. <clears throat> in section three of your notes, this is another example. Here it is abbreviated. An independent variable is what you change in your experiment. The dependent variable is what you measure, what gets changed as a result of your independent variable, and your control is what stays the same. Would you write this example down? 
let's say we were doing an experiment where students of different ages were given the same jigsaw puzzle to put together. They were timed to see how long it took the puzzle to finish. So in this case, I'm going to start with my control. The control in this case, and I'm going to highlight it with the purple color, is that the students were given the same jigsaw puzzle, because that's the same for every single student. The independent variable, the thing that I changed in this experiment, are students with different ages, because that's the thing that I'm changing. And then the dependent variable, the part that is measured in this case, is the time that it took to see how long it took them to finish the puzzle. That's what I'm measuring as a result of my independent variable. Here's just a few other examples you don't have to write down. Let's say we want to know, do people with less sleep have slower reaction times? My independent variable, the thing I would change, is less sleep. Then I would test or measure people's reaction time. That would be my dependent variable. Here's another example. Does texting change reaction times? I'm going to change texting, seeing if some people text and some people don't, and then I'm going to measure their reaction time after they've done some texting. That would be my dependent variable, the thing I measure. Here's one more. What household cleaner repels the ants the best? The independent variable, the thing I'm changing, would be the different household cleaners, and then the thing I'm measuring is how many ants would it repel? Would you now stop your notes, stop this, write a question for section two and three if you haven't already done it, now answer the essential question at the bottom of your notes. When you're finished with that, go to IP, or excuse me, OP39. This is another exercise to see if you can identify the independent versus the dependent variables. I'm going to do a few with you and then you're on your own for the rest. Number one, a study was done to find out if different tire treads affect the braking distance of a car. In this case, what I'm testing is different tire treads. What is what I'm going to measure is braking distance and what's going to be constant is going to be the type of car that is used. Number two. The time it takes to run a mile depends on the person's running speed. In this case I need to look at what am I changing what am I measuring and what's going to stay the same? In this case, what I'm changing is the independent variable. That would be the speed. The time is going to change what I'm measuring, excuse me, and the mile stays the same. Everybody runs the mile, that stays the same. But people's speed is going to change and then I'm going to time to see how long it took them to do that. That's what I'm measuring. That would be my dependent. One more and then you're on your own. I'm going to test the height of a bean plant and see if it depends on the amount of water that they receive. My independent variable, the thing I'm going to change, is the amount of water. The thing that I'm going to measure is the height of the bean plant, but the thing that stays constant is the type of plant, the bean plant. So the independent variable is the amount of water, what I change. The dependent variable is what I'm measuring as a result, and the constant or the control is what stays the same. You are on your own for the rest. You need to finish both OP and IP39 for homework tonight.